In today's video, I have three solid, quick, and easy VC methods here for you guys in NBA 2K24, so let's waste no time and get right into it. So for this first method, you want to go to the main menu and head to My Team. Now, obviously, if you've never played My Team before, you can still do this method, or if you've played My Team before, you can still do this if you haven't done it already. So what you want to do, obviously, if you've never played My Team before, like you see me doing right here, is you just make a My Team. It'll make you do all this useless stuff right here where you got to pick cards or do whatever open a lot of packs or whatever so once you get through all of that stuff or if you've played my team before you just want to go to the pack market and then you want to go to the unopened packs and you'll find this little pack right here the trendsetter reward card so obviously you want to go ahead redeem this card and you'll get this little card where you have to put in a collection and basically you get a free 10,000 BC once you complete that collection. And this whole process takes under two minutes, so it's pointless to not do this. So obviously once you get that card and your unopened packs, you wanna go back to the collect tab and you'll see this tab that says the exchange. And then you'll see it should be the second option, trend setter rewards. And then obviously this is where we put that card that we just redeemed. And then as you can see, once we redeem this card, we get 10,000 VC. We also get a two times XP coin, a XP coin for my team and 10 boosts in each category for your my players. So this is a really, really solid little method to do. Not only do you get 10,000 VC, but you also get some other useful rewards as well. So if you looked in the my team clips, I had 20,000 VC and you'll see as I go to my attributes right here, I now have 30,000 VC. So obviously this does work but let's go ahead and get into the next method so for this next method you want to go ahead and go to your map and then you'll see you want to set a waypoint to sunset park want to go ahead and skate your way over there and you'll see once you get to sunset park you've probably played some of these games before and you probably know how quickly some of these games can go by so i would recommend going up against disco every single time you can play him over and over again after you win the game i would recommend putting yourself in that two slot so not only are you guarded by a 70 overall but you're also going to be guarding a 70 overall which is going to allow you to leave him wide open he's going to miss most of the time and it's going to allow you to finish these games even quicker i'm not skipping through any of this i'm not fast forwarding any of this game just to show you guys how quickly you can actually get these games done with and like i said you want to make sure you have that 70 overall guarding you so basically what we're going to be doing is we're going to be leaving him open every single time and most of the time he is going to miss obviously because he's a 70 overall so you'll see me i'm just going to run down the core right here leave him wide open in the corner and i think unironically he actually does make this first shot but i promise you most of the time he's going to be missing as you'll see a little bit later in this game so you see i'm just going to go down here and because i'm on a shooter type of build i can just shoot over him every single time and even if your build doesn't have that high of a three ball this core is on such an even easy difficulty if you know a jump shot that's pretty good and you equipped it and you know your timing you're going to be able to green on this court trust me it's very very easy a lot of you have probably already played on these street ball courts so you know how easy it is just to shoot on these courts so you'll see every single time i shoot green it and i'm going to run down to this same spot just let him score to get the game over as quickly as possible now i did the calculations and you see he missed right there i'm telling you he misses most of the time and then i come down and green the shot but i did the calculations and i would say you get about 15k to 20,000 BC if you do this method for an hour. And that's with me completing these games in like two to three, maybe four minutes at the max. But for the most part, you can finish these games in like two minutes. You see, he misses every single time and I get takeover. Especially if you're on a build that can't shoot, I would definitely recommend equipping sharp take and then just doing what I'm doing, spotting up at the same spot over and over again. Make sure you again, have that 70 overall guarding you and you're guarding him and obviously once the towards the end of the game they'll start to figure out what you're doing and they'll just take layups but again just let them score come down here shoot a three and once you get up by 10 i believe the game will just end so if you get lucky and they miss every single shot like you'll see i have another example all right after this game you'll see he misses pretty much every single shot and the game ends when we have like 15 points and i get the game done in like two minutes and that's a free 400 vc every two minutes so this is a very very solid method especially if you're a solo player the next method i have is more of a teammate where you need teammates um to get a lot of the vc so as you can see i got the game done very very quickly we didn't even have to go to 21 and you'll see we get about 400 sometimes you get like 400 a little bit less but in this one i got 430 so that's pretty darn good for two minutes like i said you can get around 20,000 vc per hour doing this method it's a very very solid solo method so i'm going to show you guys one more game again and make sure you guys put yourself in that second slot so you're going up against that 70 overall and you'll see i sped up this game just a little bit because obviously you guys are kind of getting the gist of what the method is but you'll see i'll fast forward this we're doing the same method again where i kind of just stand there let him score let him shoot he's gonna miss most of the time and i think in this game this is one of the ones where i got done really really quickly you see three ball 
make it. They're going to go and miss another shot. Three ball, make it. It's the same thing over and over again. I would just throw on Netflix or some YouTube videos or do whatever you got to do to make the time go by quicker. That's usually what I do when I was, I was running this method. And it's very, very solid. You see, we're up 12 to nothing already. And after my next shot right here, the game is going to end when we only have 15 points. So this is one of the best games that you can get. This is probably the fastest game that I've ever gotten. So you see, once again, pull up green, five for five, six for six, whatever it was. And just like that, in like less than two minutes, honestly, I get another 400 VC. So this is a very, very solid solo method. And like I said, the next method is going to be when you have more teammates on. So let's go ahead and get into that. Now for this third and final method, as you can see on the map, we're going to be heading to the 3v3 Pro-Am. If you don't know where it is, you saw it on the map right there. Now, like I said, this method requires you to have some teammates. So you and your boys, if you feel like playing park, I would recommend playing 3v3 Pro-Am instead because you get a ton of BC for playing this mode. And you'll see just how much I get in a second. But you see, obviously, you want to have your boys on. And honestly, this mode is really, really fun. Outside of the VC, this mode is really, really fun. All you have to do is go to the city tab, go to Pro-Am 3v3 if you don't already know. Then just one of your friends has to create a team. And then you can just invite your boys to play. And it's even really good for rep. Once you get like 250 wins, you start getting like two times rep too. So I would recommend going out here and playing the 3v3 Pro-Am. It's a lot of fun. Now for the VC, if you end up getting player of the game, you could end up getting up to 1100 VC. And even if you don't end up getting player of the game, because obviously only one person on the team can get player of the game, you get 600 to 700 VC. So this is a really, really solid place to go out there and play some 3v3. Like I said, I would definitely take it over the park just for the VC. Like I was playing it last night. We ended up playing like maybe 15 to 20 games and I walked away with like 25, 30 K VC. So it's pretty crazy. You can really rack up the VC when you're coming out here and playing with the 3v3 Pro-Am. And obviously it helps even more if you and your friends are sweats out there and you can get the games done even quicker, like four or five minutes. You're getting 1100 VC every four or five minutes. You can imagine how quickly you can start racking up the VC. And you're doing this by just having fun playing 3v3 with your boys. So I would definitely, definitely recommend coming out here and playing on the 3v3 Pro-Am. So as you can see, after we finish this game, the VC pops up. You get player of the game. You get 250 VC for getting player of the game. And that just stacks on top of what you're already getting for playing the mode in general. And you see, we end up getting 1100 VC for just one 3v3 game that took maybe five minutes to complete. Now, obviously, you're going to have some games that are going to be a little bit comp. But for the most part, there's a lot of bums that play this mode. So... If you're a nice player, you and your squad are out there hooping, I would definitely recommend coming out here and playing in the 3v3 Pro-Am. But that's going to wrap it up for today's video. I hope one of these methods helped you guys out. Again, if you're a solo player, go out there and try the street ball courts. But if you have a squad on a lot of the times, I would definitely recommend the 3v3 Pro-Am. But let me know down below in the comments if one of these methods help you guys out. Leave a like if you enjoyed. It would help me out a lot. And I will see you guys in the next one.